Hey folks, Moose here. How you doing? Had a number of folks email asking me how I'm getting the Profoto B1s around from project to project. So I thought I'd make a short video, explain what I'm doing. I got the Think Tank Logistics Manager case here. It's a behemoth. You know, if you're going to put the airport security on this case, it comes to about here. So it's from here to here. It's a big case. It's longer and it's deeper. So this will not ever, ever go on the carry-on in the overhead or on the seat of a plane. It's going to go in the belly of the plane. So to make that understood. So the first thing about this case is it's got the, over here on the side, it's permanently attached, TSA locks. Very important. I think that's just, it shows right off the bat we're mean, we're mean business. Now it does have, you know, compartments here. You can put stuff. Since it's going in the belly of the plane, this stuff, I don't put anything in it until I get to the location. Then I'll put gels, remotes, other things in these so it's easy to work. Now it comes to basic packing and taking the Profoto B1s around, this is what I've got going, okay? So you've got these straps, okay, it keeps the lid from opening and closing. The lid itself has, there's nothing in here, okay, nothing in the lid that protects this stuff. What have I got in here? Well, I did this video and I waited till I had five flights just to make sure everything's working. So like I have my Magnum, okay, light diffuser here, modifier. The actual little grid that goes in here, insert, that goes in a different case. Uh, this does get sometimes, you know, doink this way. No biggie. You can see it's still pretty, pretty much round, okay. Ooh, kind of reflective too, okay. That's in there. I've got two of the impact light stands. These are great because you can see they fit right in here. And they go to 6.7 feet tall. So they're small, they're light, works perfect. In this compartment here, now all these dividers, I've used the ones that come with the case, okay? So I made this little compartment back here, and in here is the charger, both the regular and the fast AC charger, and then extra batteries um, for the remote. So that's in there, okay? Pretty simple, boom. Now I put this in here just because. It's a tad extra little bit of, of taking up some of the space, because you can see I have the, the B1 heads in here, Okay, safe and secure, not had any problems. Then once the, down here, I have in this compartment, get made a little lip, I have the two batteries for the units, and these have to come out. They don't stay attached, so they come out, okay, come off, and that's what makes these portable. So those are both in there. And then lastly, I have the remote for the unit right here. So that's it. I mean, that's basically all there is to it. I have everything I need in this kit, to go out and basically work. There is another case that goes with me, and what's with that case? Well, that case doesn't actually fly. That case, I have to ship. That's got my big Okta. It's got the, the big strip box. It has the, the grid that goes in top of the Magnum here. That case is a big case. It weighs 29 pounds. I FedEx that one around. Why do I do that? You know, it's probably just me, but carrying this, my luggage, camera gear, and everything else to and from the airport, it's beyond this guy. I can't walk and chew gum. It's just not going to happen. So the extra long case, and it's a five-foot case, no way I can physically manage to get it through the airport. So I FedEx around. And it's got, it's only 29 pounds, so it's very light, but it's got the Okta, it's got the big strip, grid for this, it's got some ground stands, it's got some other little mischievous things, no big deal. But this is it. This is how I take the Pro 1, the Pro B1s around. The Magna stands good to go. Belly plane, it rocks it.